I'm gonna tell you a few different ways that you can do collaborations with other people, even if they don't live anywhere near you. And we're starting right now. That's just how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. And real quick, let me know if you have ever done a collaboration with somebody that doesn't live anywhere near you and let me know how it went down in the comments. Okay, collaborations are a fantastic way to grow your channel. Basically, the idea is you are putting yourself in front of an audience that would not have seen you otherwise, and then the other person that you're collaborating with, they're putting themselves in front of your audience who your audience might not have seen otherwise as well. Collaborations are extremely powerful, and depending on who you're collaborating with, they could make a big impact on your channel. But sometimes, let's say you wanna collaborate with somebody that lives in another state, or they live in another country, or they live completely on another side of the planet, how do you do it? The first way to pull off that kind of collaboration is you get on Skype, and you have the person that you're collaborating with get on Skype. You both set up your cameras just like you would right here with this whole thing. You both set up your cameras. They record their part. You record your part while you're staring into the lens, but you're actually having the conversation over Skype. So you have the audio of them speaking. They have the audio of you speaking, but you're actually recording and looking into the camera. Once you have the recording part of that finished, then you would upload it to your Dropbox account. They would upload it to their Dropbox account. And then you would basically exchange the footage that way through sharing a link to that Dropbox folder. Super easy, super fast, done. The next way that you can do a long distance collaboration is basically each of you fill in the body content for the video. So basically the main part of the video, all the stuff that's in the middle of it, you record that part for them, they record that part for you. The same exact thing applies as in the first part of this where you would then edit and upload those clips to Dropbox. And then once you download their clips, you basically do the introduction to the video and then you hand it off to them. And then you come in at the end of the video to kind of tie everything up, make the recommendation for their channel and kind of close out your video like you normally would. The important thing about doing it this way is the actual handoff. So basically what you would do is you would pass it to that other person. So just like you would do in a conversation style video to where you would say, you know, oh, hey, whatever your name is, how are you today? And then they would come in and say, oh, I'm doing great, thanks. You would do that same basic thing, but basically you would have them start out their video with a, you know, oh, you know, thanks for having me on your channel, whatever your name is. And then they would go into the body content. And then before the end of their segment, they would pass it back to you by saying, you know, hey, thanks again for having me on your channel, whatever your name is, back to you. And then from there, you pick it up, you know, where they left off and then you say, oh, you know, hey, thanks, it was great, love to have you on, that was such a great bit of information that you shared, thank you so much, and then you go into closing out your video. Another way that you can do it, and this all depends on the quality of the content that you're used to putting out and that your viewers are used to seeing, that's not as high quality as exchanging the footage, is you can actually just hop on a interview. You can use a peer.in as an example, or you can use Zoom, or you can use even Skype, really, or Google Hangouts, to where basically there's more than one person on the screen, and you basically basically just have that conversation back and forth and then you record it using Camtasia or another screen recorder. If you're using Zoom, uh, you can actually do that screen recording inside of Zoom and it'll actually upload to their cloud and then you can download it or you can even record it straight to your computer. Doing it that way definitely gets the job done. It might not be the highest quality, but it's definitely an audience exchange to where you get a chance to be in front of each other's audiences. And you know, it can also be effective. One other way that you can do this is the way that you make it extremely easy for the person that you're collaborating with. And that's basically where you do the whole entire thing as a guest host. The idea behind this one is you do everything like they would normally do on their channels, except you do it as you instead of them. So let's say as an example, if you were gonna collaborate with me on my channel, you would actually be that person on the video right when the video first opens up. That can be a little bit uncomfortable for an audience, but you know, since it is on the channel, they might stick around just to see you know, what it is that's going on, especially if you have a similar presentation style or something like that. If you wanna learn more about how to actually reach out for a collaboration, I did a video with Brandon from 1% Better. I'll put a link to that up here at the top. You should go check that out now if you wanna know more about how to actually reach out and get that collaboration process started. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.